Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, I will show you how to draw a use case diagram for a library management system. So it basically provides a visual representation of the key functionalities and interactions within a library management system. So the diagram illustrates the role of the librarian and borrower along with uh, various actions they can perform within the system. The use case diagram includes essential actions such as logging into the system, returning books, borrowing books and managing books. The librarian responsible for tasks such as issuing books and calculating the fine. On the other hand, the member's uh, role is involved in actions like borrowing books and returning them to the library, checking the status of their account and paying the fine. So the purpose of a use case diagram in UML is to demonstrate the different ways that a user might interact with the system. It can summarize the details of your system's user and their interaction with the system. So to build one, we'll use a set of specialized symbols and connectors. So the notation for a use case diagram is pretty straightforward. Let's discuss it one by one. So the first one is use cases. It is a uh, horizontally shaped ovals that uh, represent the different uses that a user might have. Next is actors. So it is a uh, stick figures that represent the people employing the use cases. Next is associations. So it is a line between actors and use cases. So in uh, complex diagrams, it is important to know which actors are associated with which use cases. So the last one is system boundary boxes. So basically the rectangular boundary is the system. Use cases fall inside it and actors will be placed outside it. So now let's draw a use case diagram for library management system. Here first we'll draw the system boundary and then write the use case name. This is mandatory. Now we are drawing a general use case diagram for a library management system. The general use case diagram shows the main functionalities of the system. It shows the general processes of library management system. It is based on the activities performed by the librarian, members, students, system, etc. And a specific use case diagram is basically when someone asks you to draw a use case for a specific functionality of the system and not the whole system diagram. So in exam also they can ask you to draw a specific use case diagram. For example, use case to draw a use case diagram for borrowing a book from library or they can ask you to calculate and pay fine. So let's start with the library management system. Here I'm adding an actor member. Without the member, library management system is of no use as uh, it is the member who will request books. Next, I am adding the actor librarian. Librarian has a key role in this system. It adds the records in the library database about each student or user every time issuing the book or returning the book or paying fine. In a library, the members need to register themselves so they can easily keep track of their account status. Librarian adds the records in the library database about each student or user every time issuing the book or returning the book or paying fine. So in a library, the members need to register themselves so they can easily keep track of their account status. So here I am adding use case login. So if member wants to log in, then he should first register himself or herself in the system. The librarian also needs to register himself because he will be the one issuing the books. And here I am adding include relationship from login to registration. We use include relation when the use case is mandatory and part of the base use case. It is represented by a dash arrow in the direction of the included use case with the notation include. Next we added the search book function and uh, linked it with the member. A member gets to search the books as per their preferences based on various categories available in the library. Now a member can request a book of his choice from the library. So I am adding the borrow book use case. 
and when member need any book then what librarian will do is he or she will issue a book so member will be going to borrow a book and librarian will issue a book to member now next i am adding use case return book so after borrowing at one point of time member wants to return a book to library so i have added use case return book so member will return a book to librarian and librarian will going to collect it so that is why i have connected this use case with both member and librarian next i am adding use case check account status the user gets to keep track of their account by the check account status option it will have all the details like when the user borrowed the book and when the due date is it also contain the history of the books that have been borrowed and submitted by the user and next i am adding use case calculate fine so what librarian will do is he or she will calculate the fine if there is overdue in the return process next we have to pay a fine if uh, there is overdue if the user somehow forgets to return the book before the due date then the user pays a fine next i have added the actor called system that has the task of updating the catalog that is updating the categories then managing the user account and giving reminders regarding the due dates and last to give you an example of generalization in use case i am using generalization for actor member generalization of an actor means that one actor can inherit the role of the other actor so several actors can play the same role in a particular use case so in a library management system customers can be of two types first is a student and the second one is a staff so this is how you can draw use case diagram on different topics this is just an example you can add various use cases and actors according to you that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos